This page contains language that's for adults and contains adult content. It's not suitable for anyone under the age of 18 and may not be suitable for all adults. Listen at your own discretion. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the podcast. And uh, today is April 13th, and it's Saturday, and it's kind of not what I planned on doing today, but unfortunately I have to. And what I'm seeing is that the House, uh, the U.S. House of Representatives has voted to reauthorize Section 702 of the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act, FISA, and they've done that for the next two years. Now, why is this a real problem? Because... Well, this has everything to do with your Fourth Amendment rights, and if you don't know what that is, then you probably need to do a little bit of research. Uh, I've unfortunately, it's it's got to the point where people just don't know what their rights are, and they need to educate themselves because it's not our jobs on the podcast, on the YouTubes, on anything to explain their explicit rights under the Constitution, which is what the Bill of Rights was all about. Now, we're not going to get bogged down in the history of the Constitution because I really want to focus on this, and I want you to be able to understand what's happening so that you can actually get on the damn phone or text or email or something to your representative in the U.S. House of Representatives this weekend to let them know that they should not be doing this. Now, for your education, you probably heard about it on the news because they want you to think that this is a done deal, that that the House has voted to reauthorize the FISA, you know, the, the Section 702 of the FISA Act. And here's the thing. There were some amendments that were put inside of it that forced them to take another vote on Monday morning before they sent it over to the Senate. So there is the opportunity to stop this, and I think you should get involved. Now, let me go into detail a little bit, and let me explain a few things to you. So basically, the the FISA, or the FISA Act, is uh, got a section in it called Section 702. Uh, and the, the opponents of this uh, insist that the only way to fully protect Americans for Fourth Amendment rights and to uh, prevent abuse is to require the government to obtain a probable cause court order before performing uh, U.S. person queries or searches in this magical database of people. Opponents pro- uh, propose dur- uh, requiring a warrant, a warrant for uh, a magistrate judge in a law enforcement capacity to give. So basically, they're saying. Guys, if you're going to look at U.S. citizens' information in this magical uh, CIA deep state database that's only supposed to be gathering information on foreign intelligence assets or bad guys outside of the continental United States, which is the CIA's mandate, then you're supposed to have a court order because U.S. citizens have rights. It's called the Fourth Amendment. They're not, you're, they're not supposed to be doing this stuff. Unfortunately, they've done it over 200,000 times last year alone. It's absolutely insane. They connect a name. Well, that guy could be a bad guy, so we probably need to do something about that. And there are arguments to the positive which say that they need to be able to connect the dots very rapidly in order to stop terrorism from happening inside the United States, which I completely agree with. But even a moron can sit down and write a document that says, if there is credible information that says that Joe Blow, you know, who works at the local Walmart, who is a U.S. citizen, is somehow connected to this crazy ass terrorist off in the left off in left field who he's probably an illegal alien at that then we knew do need to be able to directly act as rapidly as possible and not have to worry about a warrant that is completely understandable but they it's like they're not even trying to to write these amendments uh, to this act that that are that crayon eaters can understand for the simplest people they're not even trying now there is one amendment but i think that that i think and i think there was a total of four amendments but i can't find them anywhere i've only been able to find the one and uh, I, I think that they they may be going down this rabbit hole where it's like they're trying to justify 
this act. They're trying to justify doing what they're doing. Now, in uh, my last podcast, the, we talked about how they're like, well, I, I, I didn't know anything about this bad stuff. And then I, and I was like, no, we need a warrant. And, and, then, and then I went to a briefing and then, oh, it changed my mind. And so now I'm going to vote. And so like 80 something Republicans voted to, to, uh, to reauthorize this act with only a few amendments in it. Uh, now, one of those amendments actually makes sense, but once again, I think that it has a lot to do with, um, I, uh, guys, I think it's just blind, it's just blind, um, what are the words I'm looking for here? I think it's just foolish to believe that these happy, happy, joy, joy words are a reason to a soup or bypass or ignore Fourth Amendment rights for U.S. citizens. Now, unfortunately, you know, even a congressman that I like out of Texas, uh, Dan Crenshaw, uh, he is he. I, I guess he voted for it, and so I'm a little confused, you know. Um, and uh, it's it's all focused on drug trafficking, you know. He he says that it's insane that we have not been able to use FISA to target the affiliates of cartels such as bankers or accountants and others who help. Uh, operate their businesses. You know, this amendment corrects that mistake. Uh, And uh, he says, make no mistake, the cartels are a multi-billion dollar business that traffic in fentanyl and other illicit drugs. Uh, They are a national security threat, and this amendment will help to dismantle the cartels. And I agree with what he's saying to a point. Guys, if you think for a second, and uh, Mr. Crenshaw, I've been in a few classified briefings myself, and I think maybe you need to uh, stop lying to the public. And here's why I'm going to say this. If you think that we don't think or believe that you have been or you are not privy to this information up until the time of a briefing, you're a fool. We are not fools. We understand what you're saying. We understand that you are full of crap and that although you come off as this hardcore Republican and constitutionalist, you literally just voted to bypass the Constitution. Start writing these amendments so that they actually work. Start writing laws so that they actually work for the U.S. citizen and not for the deep state. Now, I know that sounds a little tinfoil haddish and a little bit crazy to some people, but the reality is is that this particular act has been completely used by law enforcement, okay? Not the DEA, not the CIA, but the FBI. And if you think that that Officer Daniels didn't have a friend who he went to the academy years ago so they could be on the local PD and somehow his buddy Bubba got into the FBI and then Bubba called Dan one day or Dan called Bubba and said, hey man, you got access to that database? I got a question about this guy. Why, yes I do. Clickety, click, click, click. Oh yeah, man, he's this and this and this and this and this. Guys, that officer and that federal agent just violated, in that particular scenario, just violated that U.S. citizen's Fourth Amendment rights. It's against the law. They keep pretending that they have to make these laws that protect us. It's like they need a law to make the other law work. And, and it's just absolutely ridiculous at this point. You know, the, uh, the, the amendment uh, was passed in coordination with reforming uh, the Intelligence and Surveillance Act, the largest reform of the Foreign Intellig- in- Intelligence and Surveillance Act, known as FISA, and the Federal Bureau of Investigation in a generation. So this is the biggest change that's happened in a generation. These, these handful of amendments that don't actually pr- do anything. They don't actually do anything. And I think that what we need to do is we need to take a good hard look at these people who are pretending to who are pretending to act in our best interests act in our best interests so you know basically you know after a debate you know what let's go ahead and stop for a second guys listen if you um, if you don't have the tools that you need to live a preparedness lifestyle these things can be expensive And the reason I'm telling you this is because I've set up several deals with different companies that I trust, that I personally use. And I'm going to go ahead and leave a link in the description, in the bio, wherever this 
this podcast pops up. For you to take a good hard look at those, I'm going to put them in my link tree. That's I think that's the link I'll use right there so it simplifies things for you guys. Because there are things that you should be having. You should have antibiotics for your medical. You should have a sec, uh, extra power for, you know, uh, it, when, when the lights go out and you go, oh man, I guess I really wasn't prepared. And this happens all the time. Uh, let's see. Uh, you should have you should have something for 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 God forbid. There's a nuclear uh, detonation to protect your vehicle, so you can get around, or maybe it's your house from lightning. There's lots of different things in the preparedness space that you need to be preparing for, and the, it costs a lot of money. So I went out, negotiated with these companies, got you guys some discount codes. Go ahead and check that out. The link will be someplace. So to continue what I'm talking about. After hours of debate on Friday morning, lawmakers voted 273 to 147 in favor of the reauthorization of the modified legislation. The legislation uh, reauthorizes federal spying powers on foreign targets until the year 2026. Now, previously, lawmakers voted down a warrant requirement for spying on Americans. However, the amendment requiring the FBI to report the number of Americans they're spying on to Congress did pass, which is good, which is good. Now the legislation is headed to the Senate. It is likely to pass ahead of its expiration date next week. I I, I don't know this. Is good. I don't think this is good, guys. And I also noticed that 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 a lot of people they're not talking about the fact that they have to re-vote on this because there's an amendment attached to it or several actually they have to re-vote on this on Monday morning probably 9 10 a.m. they'll probably have another full vote of the house so that they can send it over to the senate where the senate will be like woohoo this is great guys let's do this they'll get it right over to get it right over to freaking El Presidente and he will he will do something with it he'll be like oh this is this is a long time coming he'll take some kind of victory lap you know and then they'll they'll be like Oh, this was like, we worked together to make this happen, you know. it's This just wasn't just one side. And it's all a big show, guys. It's all a big show. This is... This is the more of the deep state. This is more of the CIA. This is more of the all acronym, you know, uh, three letter organizations trying to maintain their ability to spy on anybody that they want to. And the good thing is, is that they can quickly connect those dots to an American citizen if there is some kind of uh, uh, of 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 terrorism possibility, so they can quickly react. The bad news is, is that is one in a thousand. That could be one in a million. And you know what? I don't need them looking at my file. You know what I'm saying? I was in the military. I spent 33 years serving our country in different capacities. And I don't need them looking in my file because it's a waste of time. But they're going to go digging around in other people's files. And you know what? That is against the Constitution, and that makes that against the law. Warrantless searches are against the Fourth Amendment. If you didn't know that, I just told you. And they cannot just willy willy nilly. This is gonna this is gonna go this is gonna go to court, guys. This will go to court. The 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 uh, the Supreme Court will have to um, they'll have to uh, make uh, a, a judgment on it. Uh, and uh, this this issue will be in the courts for at least a year before they realize that they cannot bypass. They cannot ignore or you know our fourth amendment rights it is just that simple okay guys this was a very quick podcast it was specifically on this i'm going to keep it under 15 minutes just so that you guys know what the hell is going on get on the phones call your house of representative your representative in the house for your district and call your senator too and say stop this bull because that is all this is and if this was really loud uh, kind of apologize. I do have a man voice, but I am a little agitated at the fact that this is this is going on. That these that this is being allowed, you know. And so I think that's I think I'm just going to leave that there. And as usual, until the next time, stay safe, have a great day, and I shall see you when I see you. 